2007, I was climbing uh, the Diamond, which is the, the vertical face on Long's Peak, which is a 14,000 foot mountain in Colorado, just west of Denver. And I think it's a, it's like a nine pitch route. And at the top, we got, my partner and I, we got stuck in a storm. Um, and it was hailing and uh, it was cold. We were in a cloud, you couldn't see anything. Uh, and then there's lightning everywhere. And by the time the lightning struck, my, my partner, he was right next to me and he didn't feel it, but he recognized like, whoa, you just got struck by lightning. I climbed up and just stood on this ledge for about 20 minutes um, and I really contemplated why I was up there. And it was, um, it was a very intense experience, very humbling. When I was younger, I actually wanted to be a trash man because they got to ride in the back of the trash trucks and they didn't have to wear seat belts, they could just hang out and let the, the wind hit their face. But then I, that quickly dissolved. I think I wanted to be an artist. Um, probably wanted to be a fireman, an ice cream tester. I had a bunch of aspirations. So I'd say my, my mom encouraged it very much. But I didn't have a, a role model of someone who was a full-time like working artist. Uh, just more romanticized ideas of what an artist was. But um, I definitely would have to come back to my mother as being the person who inspired and encouraged me. And I would say I'm also influenced by oh, just my relationship with the wilderness and with nature and the outdoors, um, with rock climbing and. Uh, rock formations with trees, um, water, just elements, water, earth, light, sound, um, very simple uh, sort of elemental inspirations. This bolt of lightning that hit me on the cliff, uh, on the precipice, it was white. I, my eyes just saw white and I heard white because the bolt uh, slightly damaged my eardrum so it was very much uh, sort of the sound of white and the sight of white were very influential. Uh, the use of white brings a unity to the compositions that can otherwise, I think, be visually overstimulating. Um, there's a simplicity, there's a minimalism to using a monochromatic color scheme. Um, and I think that there's sort of this purity or cleanliness that references minimalism, a refinement, uh, a, a bearing down on just what's necessary and I think if I can communicate uh, or explore the things I am without the use of color and I can do that su successfully I don't see the need to have to use color The Otherworldly is a experimental video in which uh, I, I'm unsure of the final outcome. It's very much an intuitive process. I'm compiling footage and creating objects and animating them. And I'm going to then, I guess the best term to, to use would be um, collage them together with time and sound. Um, so it'll be, a, it'll be a year before it's done. The world may be a mysterious place, but this experimental video will make it more so as I embark on a visual journey that continues a five-year investigation of the wondrous existence of time, space, life, death, and the faith in between. Not unlike the future, the final outcome of this project is a mystery that will unfold with time. It is an intuitive exploration into the unknown, acting as imaginative nourishment that feeds the mystery of reality. Um, the reason I use physical props and not CG is because I want it to be grounded in reality. I want there to be a sort of familiar context for which the viewer can recognize that, oh, these are real objects and it's not just computer 
generated imagery, I think there's a physical challenge that um, it definitely requires a lot more physical labor, obviously. We're all tangled up here. I think there's something important about using real objects. Um, the sort of, some, I don't know, the physical nature of things, I think, presents a very interesting challenge, but a gratifying final product. I think as an artist I can tend to be obsessive about what I'm doing and I can tend to bring my, whole, my work home with me and so at times it's difficult for me to transition from um, art making mode to being present with my wife at home. I think art is, is sort of my chosen occupation um, but I enjoy doing a lot of other things too, um, spending time with my wife, going climbing, um, playing games with friends, um, sharing meals with people, uh, and I think art can be a means to do a lot of those. Uh, also, it dealt like the, the absence of color brings a formal unity to the compositions I'm working with. So I was really not wanting to deal with chaos of color. I saw like my compositions were very chaotic and to have them full of color seemed to be a very disparate uh, formal element. So by minimalizing the amount of color, 